Hey everyone, and welcome to our video about the Manhattan Project National Historic Park at Los Alamos. I'm starting off this video a little bit different. Uh, normally I have just been putting in um, some music and some overlays, but for this one, I wanted to really explain it because this week the movie Oppenheimer is coming out and I feel like a lot of people are gonna wanna visit um, Los Alamos. So I just wanted to kind of explain before we get into kind of the walking tour. Uh, so this is the map of New Mexico and we're gonna be up here in Los Alamos. Uh, down here, this is the Trinity site. This was where the first atomic bomb was, um, was detonated. And this particular site, I actually looked at how to visit it. They only open it like one weekend per year and I think it's in April. So if this is somewhere that you're interested in going, you need to really check that out. Uh, there's also in Santa Fe, there is a uh, historic train station as well that I did not go to. But one thing you'll see at the end of this uh, video is in downtown Santa Fe, when we had visited, there was actually a historic plaque on the side of a building. Um, and it was where uh, people would go when they first got to the area before they went to Los Alamos. So I'm going to include that in the video. I also wanted to show you before we get into the Los Alamos area that there are other sites. So you can go to Oak Ridge, um, Tennessee as well. And I can't remember, um, I can't remember what, what this place is called in Washington. Please forgive me. Okay. So let's go and zoom in and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to go over in the video today. Uh, so one thing is that it's, the video is a bit out of order. So the first thing that you're actually going to see is this, the main gate park. Uh, when we came to Los Alamos, we actually came from Albuquerque and we went up this back way and over. And when you go this back way and over, you actually go through um, like a government security gate and everything. And they will let you through. You have to show IDs. Um, and you have, they have the right to search your car and stuff like that. So if you do come up this way, just know that you can get through, but the main gate you won't see until afterwards, because you're going to end up going right here. So there's a lot of these little, um, uh, tabs or whatever in, under the highly restricted access area. We did not go to any of those. Everything we did was right here. So when you go to the, um, right here is the um, uh, visitor center. It is not open seven days a week, whatever. I think we went on Monday or Tuesday and it happened to be closed, but they had the information here. So you could actually do the walking tour. So the places we went was we went to um, here to Ashley Pond. Then we walked over to the ice house which is just this little pavilion building that commemorated the um, uh, where the uh, first atomic bomb was assembled. And then we kind of walked to this way. So we're going to go to the Fuller Lodge. And this is, this is really something you need to go to. Uh, we had walked by it. And then uh, at the end, we're going to go back into it. There's also a Los Alamos History Museum, which we skipped. You have Bathtub Row, where uh, the reason why it was named Bathtub Row is because these were the only houses that had bathtubs instead of just showers. You have the Powerhouse as well. And then we also went to um, the Hans Bethy House. I think it's Bethy. I'm sorry if it's Beth. And we also uh, walked by Oppenheimer's home. Once you go this way, uh, this is the old civilians women dormitory. It looks pretty run down right now. And then you can also walk by the Los Alamos little theater. And this was, uh, this used to be the cafeteria during the Manhattan project. And then you also definitely want to check out this Bradbury science museum. So I didn't do any videos inside the science museum. Um, it's not very big, but it's very, very interesting. And if you do nothing else, they have a film um, that kind of goes over the Manhattan Project and the history. It's it's really, really great. And all of these things are completely, completely free. Uh, we also had lunch. Um, 
one of these buildings right here, there was a restaurant we had lunch at, which was really great. And then also there is a historic post office um, that is somewhere around here. And it actually even mentions it down here. The elevation of the post office is 7,320 feet. And then you do have the Groves and the um, Oppenheimer statues as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about visiting um, and doing this walking tour, uh, please just leave a comment. But from here on out, I'm not going to make any comments. I'm going to have this link uh, for this page in the description in case you want to learn more about what we're seeing. But I hope you enjoy this tour. Thanks so much.